This is a University of Otago podcast. Um, hi, I'm Judy Fisher. I, I worked, uh, did the research for this timeline banner here, which starts on this corner and goes around there like a library, like a library stack. <laughs> I'm a learning services librarian at Otago. Um, I just wanted to make a few comments about getting the material for this banner. We had probably enough for four, four banners if we just looked at a text sources because there's a lot of text about distance learning available through the Hocken Library and various archival kind of um, repositories. But we really struggled with getting images. And after talking to Penny yesterday, Penny Field here, about an image that she was holding in her own personal collection, I thought it would be great if we could get if anybody identifies gaps, we know there are a ton of gaps in this timeline. There are lots of um, things that have been missed out because A, we didn't have enough space and B, we didn't have an image. Um, so if anyone walks around here and goes, oh, I remember that, I've got a picture in my office or wherever, we would love to get it from you. And um, Gala, who I thought might be here by now, but she's not, Gala Hessen, our designer, um, is also doing an online timeline that will be available and we can update that as we get more and more information. So there will be more things going on the online uh, timeline um, as we get them. So we would love to get anything else or if, if there's something wrong, let me know. I'm, I'm sure it's not 100% correct. There was so much, it was so difficult to sift through all the information that we found or that I found um, that there's bound to be little errors in that timeline and I know there are definite errors because Gala shifted a few things around just to make them fit at times. So, <laughs> so please let me know if there's any mistakes and we will amend them for the online form. Okay, thank you. Sean was talking about the fridge in the centre yesterday, and I doubt very much the central unit, university unit, will have done anything like what Judy has done, collecting artefacts for something, for po uh, distance programs or teaching programs. If you ask someone in the university, is there a history timeline for the university throughout the whole hundred and how many, 40 years or whatever? The evolution of the programs, nobody can tell you. I'm sure nobody can. But if you ask distance learning, we have a timeline, everything documented. So 300 years later, when people come back and then still look at, still have it, all these things here. Sorry, the full reference list is over on a chair there. So if you do want to identify a spot in, on there, it's, it's, it's here. So you can just put an arrow and go, this, this is wrong, get it right, whatever. <laughs> and I'll fix it up for you. Okay, thank you, Judy.